Hey, welcome back. Governing your data is about keeping what you need and deleting what you don't to meet compliance requirement and reduce your overall risk landscape. My name is Sushant Sadish and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 certified Security Administrator Associate Certification course. After this lesson, you would be able to describe the concept of information governance and how it may apply to your organization and describe records management in Microsoft 365, explain how records are defined and used in Microsoft 365, and you would be able to use file plan to manage retention labels as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's start with understanding information governance. Retention policies help ensure you retain content as long as it is required, but no longer. With information governance, you can take two approaches to retention. You can use organization-wide policies and you can use label-driven policies applied manually by a user or automatically by Microsoft 365. Using organization-wide policies, you can choose to retain content for a specific time period or permanently delete content at the end of the retention period. Policies can apply to one or more locations where information is stored like Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and Microsoft Teams. Label-driven policies enable users to contribute to the accuracy of your data retention implementation. Users can manually label their own content to classify it. And you can also auto-apply labels to specific content to make things easier on users. So here is some common scenarios Microsoft solution for information governance can address. You can create an organization-wide retention policy to delete all Microsoft Teams communication older than seven days. You can review documents stored in a SharePoint document library prior to them being deleted because a retention policy expired and implement a five-year retention policy where automatically labeled content will be kept five years and then automatically deleted. So let's now talk about records management. Organizations of all type require records management solution to manage regulatory, legal, and business critical records across their corporate data. Records management in Microsoft 365 helps an organization manage their legal obligations and provides the ability to demonstrate compliance with the regulations and increases efficiency with regular disposition of items that are no longer required to be retained and no longer of value or no longer required for business purposes. In records management in Microsoft 365, these following capabilities. So let's go through one by one. The first one is label content as a record. This can help you create and publish retention labels that mark content as a record that can then be applied by end users or auto applied by identifying sensitive information, keywords, or content types. The second type is migrate and manage your retention requirement with file plan. By using a file plan, you can bring in an existing retention plan to Microsoft 365 or build a new one for enhanced management capabilities. And the third one is establish retention and deletion policies within the record label. So you can define retention and disposition periods based on various factors that include the date last modified or created. The next one is trigger event-based retention. This is with the event-based retention. Then we have review and validate disposition with disposition reviews and proof of record deletion and export information about all disposed items with the export option. And the last one is set specific permission for record manager functionality in your organization to have the right access. With the records management solution in Microsoft 365, you can incorporate your organization's retention schedule into the file plan to manage retention. So what are records? Managing records in Microsoft 365 helps your organization comply with corporate policies and legal or regulatory obligations while also reducing risk and legal liability. 
when the content is marked as a record the item becomes immutable which means that it can't be modified or deleted additional activities about the item are logged and you have proof of disposition when they are deleted at the end of their retention period by using retention labels to declare records you can implement a single consistent record management strategy across your microsoft 365 environment so let's talk about records and folders you can apply a retention label to a folder in exchange sharepoint and onedrive if a folder is labeled as a record and then you move an item into the folder the item is labeled as a record and when you move the item out of the folder the item remains labeled as a record and also if you change the record label that applied to a folder it does not declare content as a record and items in the folder keep their existing record label the next one is records can't be deleted if a user attempts to delete a record in exchange the item is moved to the recordable items folder if a user attempts to delete a record in sharepoint an error is displayed say that the item wasn't deleted and remains in the library so what happens when the user try to delete a record in onedrive and then the item is moved to the preservation whole library the last type is records labels can't be removed after a record label have been applied to an item only the admin of that location can remove the record label let's talk about file plan although you can create and manage retention labels from information governance in microsoft 365 compliance center the file plan from record management has additional management capabilities which include you can bulk create retention labels by importing the relevant information from a spreadsheet you can export the information from existing retention labels for analysis and offline collaboration or for bulk editing and file plan descriptors support additional and optional information for each label as well and file plan can be used for all retention labels even if they don't mark content as a record that concludes this lesson in the next video we're going to learn about sensitivity labels so i will see you on the next one till then take care